Hi, in this lesson we're going to talk about sharing OneDrive files and folders. We're here in OneDrive and we're signed in as Gary Colson. If we come over here to the left and we go to the shared link, we click on that, and it brings us here to this window and we see that we have two tabs, shared with me and shared by me. The one with the blue underline is the one that we're in and we can also see here in very large letters it says shared with me. Now on this tab we see all of the files that have been shared with me by other people. We look at the first one here, reference check form, and if we come over here to the shared by column we see that it has been shared by Olivia Fitzpatrick and just about eight minutes ago. We also see that these other documents, these three others have all been shared by Pierce Boyd three and four days ago. And we can see the activity. Olivia worked on this one. She modified this file nine minutes ago. Pierce modified these two documents at various times. And Gary has modified this last one three days ago. Now, if we click on this tab, Shared by Me, we see the documents that I have shared, or I should say that Gary has shared with other people. This one here, Candidate Evaluation Form, he shared that five days ago and the acceptable use policy, which was modified four days ago. And this is a great place for us to discover which documents we've shared and have been shared with us and how we can access the ones that have been shared with us. Now let's go back to files here for a second. And if we come down here into the sharing column, we see the candidate evaluation form. That one, we saw was here in the shared by me folder as well. It's showing me it's the same. It's just, this is just kind of a link to that. It didn't copy it. It is shared. That is that shared document. Now, if we want to go ahead and share a document, so let's go ahead and let's pick a document. Let's take this Elevator Skills History PowerPoint presentation. We want to share that with Pierce Boyd. So we're going to select it, and we're going to come up here to the top to our toolbar, and you see we have share. We have the share option. If we click on that, we get this little window here, and it is going to prompt us to enter in a name or an email address. Now, because we're sharing this to somebody in our organization, I just have to start typing Pierce's email address, and there it is, PB, Pierce Boyd at Elevator Skills. I can select that. Now I can add more people. Maybe I want to send it to Olivia as well. I'm going to select that. I can add a message if I wanted to. And then I can go ahead and click send. And both Pierce and Olivia will get a link and a notification that I shared that document with them. So let's go ahead and let's pause here and we're gonna take a look at Pierce's OneDrive. I'll be right back. All right, now I am here in the OneDrive folder of Pierce Boyd. You can see up here in the upper left, we're signed in as Pierce. Now, if we come up here to the top and we see this little symbol here, notifications, we have a little zero and a one. When we click there, we get the notification saying that Gary Colson shared, shared something. And if we click on this, it's going to open up Outlook. And we will see that Gary has shared Elevator Skills history with us. This link will work for anyone. And we can click here and open it. But what I want to do is take you to the shared section here in Pierce's OneDrive, and we will see, there it is, the Elevator Skills History, shared two minutes ago by Gary Colson. And he could go ahead and click on that and work on it. All right, let's go ahead and let's get back to Gary's OneDrive. All right, we're back in Gary Colson's OneDrive, and we're going to come down and take a look at the Elevator Skills History PowerPoint. And if we come over to the sharing column, we see that it now says shared. 
And I want to show you one more thing here about this. If we go to the ellipses, you'll see that we have the option to manage access. Now you can get there also by clicking here on where it says shared and it opens up the manage access panel. Now, once this is open, you see these three ellipses here, we're going to click there. And if you ever forget who you shared the document with, you'll see their names down here under shared with, and we see Olivia and Pierce. All right, now you know how to share files. Let's go ahead and let's share a folder. We have the new policy documents folder and we have four documents in it and we want to share this entire folder with Pierce and Heather. So we're going to click here on show actions. Rather than going up to share on the top, we're gonna to choose it here from our drop down. We're gonna choose share. And just like we saw with an individual file, we can enter in the names and we said we were gonna share this with Pierce. And let's share this one with Heather. And I'm not gonna bother adding a message. You know what that's like, we can click send. And now that folder has been shared. And I can assure you that Heather and Pierce have both gotten a notification and an email saying that that folder has been shared. And when we look over here in the sharing column again, we see that it has been shared. And just like we saw with an individual document, if we open up the manage access and click on the ellipses, again, we see who that folder has been shared with. So now you know how to share files and folders in OneDrive. Thanks for listening, and I'll see you next time.